Hey everyone, Chef Patrick here from Sabroso. Welcome to my kitchen. This fried dough is known all around the world, with many countries claiming the rights for the best empanadas. Come on, let's get started. You're about to have a little taste of what you're missing. But if you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Full of flavor, flavorful, save your tools. Te vamos a enseñar unas recetas del baúl. Slice, slice, chop, nice spice, hot or mild. We got it, you just named the style. One in a meal, culinary skills, prestigioso. Todo queda sabroso. Let's start with the picadillo filling. In a large saute pan, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Add one cup each diced onion, red and green bell peppers. Saute for five minutes. Make a well in the center and add one pound of ground beef and cook until brown. Add one tablespoon minced or crushed garlic. Saute for 30 seconds. Add one tablespoon sofrito. This is my homemade version. Click the above link for the recipe. Saute for another 30 seconds. I'm adding three teaspoons of our signature spice mix, but you can substitute two teaspoons adobo and one teaspoon sazon. I'm also adding one teaspoon chicken bouillon. Stir to combine. Add four tablespoons of tomato sauce. Mix until thoroughly combined. Now I'm adding one cup of diced potatoes that I pre-cooked, along with a quarter cup sliced Spanish olives. Stir to combine. Add one teaspoon of dried oregano. And one tablespoon fresh chopped cilantro. Now let's make the empanada dough. I'm using a recipe from one of my favorite food bloggers, the Nashri. In a large bowl, sift three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two and a half teaspoons of culture salt. Add four tablespoons of vegetable shortening. Use a fork to cut the shortening into the flour until it resembles coarse crumbs. Add one large egg, slightly beaten, and mix until combined. Add three quarters of a cup of water, a quarter cup at a time. The dough should be slightly loose. Turn over onto your work surface. And begin pressing the dough together to form a bowl. Then start kneading the dough for about 10 minutes. To knead the dough, 
Use the palm of your hand to push the dough forward. Fold it over, then turn. Repeat the process until you have a nice smooth ball of dough. Let it rest for 30 minutes. You can roll the dough out and then cut into discs. But I find it easier to cut the dough into 8 equal parts for larger empanadas and 16 if you want smaller. Then using a tortilla press to flatten them out into a disc. Now it's much easier to roll to the desired thickness. I'm rolling them out about a half inch thick. Now add some water around the edge of the dough. This will help in sealing the empanada. On the top half of the dough, add some shredded cheese. Today I'm using Monterey Jack and mozzarella. Add one heaping tablespoon of the picadillo. Then add more cheese on top. Close the mixture by folding the bottom half to meet the top half. Press down on the edges. Then take a fork to permanently seal the empanadas. You can also make a fluted edge by pinching the edges. Or you can seal it up like a calzone. If using two different fillings, mark the tops to identify which is which. Now let's fry our empanadas. In a pan with about three cups of canola oil, set over high heat, add the empanadas, being careful not to overcrowd the pan. Cook until the empanadas float to the top. Then turn them over. Cook for about two to three minutes on each side. Remove and place on a paper towel lined plate and serve them nice and warm. These empanadas are truly sabroso. Add a little hot sauce and dig in. That's how you make homemade empanadas. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like these, click that subscribe button and you'll stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.